Hello to all our viewers out there. We are back to our favorite channel, the Chatterbox Club. Are you ready for this week's second fairy tale? So hold on to your excitement tightly and let's march into this book and listen to the tale. Today, we are going to read together the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, a traditional tale that has been told to children for generations. The story has been read from Stories and Rhymes for Young Children, published by Armadillo Books. So, let's begin. It's no good said Jack's mother one day. We shall have to sell our cow. We have no money left and you are such a lazy silly boy Jack that you will never find work. So Jack set off to market with the cow. But on the way he met a stranger. Why walk all the way to market? asked the man. I will take the cow off your hands right away and I'll give you these magic beans in return. I think you'll agree. That's a bargain. Jack was delighted to have a handful of magic beans and he handed over the cow immediately. But Jack's mother was furious. You are a stupid idle boy, she cried. And you will go straight to bed without any supper. And she threw the beans out of the window. The next morning when Jack woke up, he thought that the room seemed very dark. He looked out of his window and was astonished to see that an enormous bean plant had grown beside the house. Its top disappeared into the clouds. Now Jack was a lazy boy, but he was brave too. He clambered out of the window and began to climb up the beanstalk. Jack climbed and climbed until he came to the top of the beanstalk in a land above the clouds. Far away he could see a huge castle and he set off to walk towards it. Just at, as night was falling, he reached the great wooden door and knocked loudly. A woman came to the door and looked at him in surprise. You can't stay here, she said. My husband the ogre eats little boys. Jack explained that he was tired and hungry and at last the woman relented and let him come in for some bread and cheese. No sooner had Jack begun to eat when he felt the floor begin to shake. It's my husband, cried the woman. Hide in the oven quick. The ogre's mighty feet thundered across the floor and his huge voice bellowed across the room. Fee fi fo foul I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Nonsense, said his wife. That's just the soup ready for your supper. So the ogre sat down and ate his soup. When he had finished, he called to his wife. Bring me my hen. His wife went out and fetched a white hen. The ogre took the hen and shouted, Lay! To Jack's amazement, as he peeped out of the oven door, the hen laid a golden egg. Again and again the ogre ordered the hen to lay until there were 12 golden eggs on the table. Then the ogre fell asleep and began to snore. <coughs> 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 
when he heard the ogre snoring, Jack jumped out of the oven, picked up the magic hen and ran away as fast as his leg would carry him. He scrambled down the beanstalk and stood breathless in front of his mother. Why, Jack! she cried. That is the hen that the wicked ogre stole from your poor father. Now our troubles are over. But although Jack and his mother became quite wealthy, the boy still had a spirit of adventure. One day, he climbed the beanstalk again and made his way to the ogre's castle. Once again, he hid and heard the ogre's great voice. Fee fi fo fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. The ogre's wife brought him his supper and Jack was safe. After supper, the ogre called for his money bags. As Jack watched, he counted out bags and bags of gold coins. As soon as he falls asleep, I will take those money bags, said Jack to himself. And so he did. Again, Jack's mother was delighted. This money belonged to your father too, she said. Jack decided to climb the beanstalk one more time. Everything happened just as before. But this time, after supper, the ogre called for his golden harp. When the ogre's wife brought the harp to the table, the ogre commanded, Play! At once, the harp began to play the sweetest music Jack had ever heard. No sooner had the ogre fallen asleep than Jack seized the harp and ran out of the door. But the harp called out, Master, Master! And the ogre awoke. With thundering footsteps, he chased after the boy. Jack ran as fast as he could to the top of the beanstalk, but all that the time he could hear the ogre getting nearer and nearer. He scrambled down as quickly as he could, but the ogre followed him. When he was nearly at the bottom, Jack called out, Mother, Mother, bring the axe! When he reached the ground, Jack took the axe and with one great blow, he cut through the huge beanstalk. The ogre came tumbling down to his death. As for Jack and his mother, they lived happily ever after. The End Being a little adventurous and brave can bring unexpected results. Just like our little Jack who took a huge risk and took advantage of the opportunities that life gave him. So, never miss out on yours. You never know there might be something huge waiting for you out there. Till then, bye bye. Please like, share and subscribe my channel for more fun videos. And feel free to email us at chatterboxclub88 at the rate gmail.com.